What's going on everybody, it's Conti here with another video. How to change the colour of a particular object in a video project in DaVinci Resolve 16. Ensure that you have your edit window open. Left click once on the icon at the bottom of your DaVinci Resolve interface to do this. To import a video file, go to File, Import File and Import Media. Your imported video should appear inside your media pool underneath Master. Left click once on the thumbnail, hold your mouse button down and drag your mouse cursor to the timeline towards the bottom of your edit window. Let go of your left mouse button once your video edit is in place at the start of the timeline at the zero second mark. My intention in this project is to intensify the orange brown shade that makes up the door in the top right corner of this particular video. The door in the top left corner on the other hand should maintain its original colour. With your video edit in place on your timeline, left click once on the colour tab at the bottom of your screen. Inside your colour window, go to left click once on qualifier. Inside the selection range window in the middle bottom section of your screen, ensure that picker is selected. Our aim is to select the colour shades that make up the door in the top right side of our video so that we can make a selection of the door object itself without the other elements such as the floor and the red bucket. Go to left click once on the object that you wish to select. I'm going to left click once on the door here for example. A set of bars should appear underneath qualifier including hue, saturation and luminance. The white triangular shapes that appear on these bars surround the colour shades that you have just selected on your screen. In the node window which appears in the top right corner of your screen, you can see in a small rectangular preview of your video the object that you have highlighted in its original colour with the rest of the video imagery in grey. However, this is not as it appears on the timeline preview. To see just the object that you have selected, hold Shift and press H on your keyboard. To zoom in so that you get a better view of your video, simply left click on the arrow next to the zoom percentage which appears above your video preview and choose a higher number to zoom in. I'm going to change this particular zoom setting to 25%. I'm still unable to see the whole door on this video preview, so I shall therefore hold in control and push the mouse scroller button upwards so that the video preview shows the top part of my file. If I zoom in more to 50%, we can see that some sections of the door are missing with grey sections marking the empty areas that have been missed by the picker tool. In order to highlight the entire object here, what we can do underneath selection range is go to the colour picker icon with the plus symbol, left click once and left click on the sections of the door that we wish to select. Left click once and more of the object is highlighted. Repeat this process until you have the whole object selected. Do not worry if separate objects are also highlighted in your video. You can also increase the amount of similar colour shades captured on screen here by increasing the width of these triangular shapes on these three horizontal bars. By left clicking on the triangular shape and dragging your mouse cursor to the side, like so. Now to change the colour of the selected door. Go to Colour Wheels and underneath the Primary Wheels option, select Primary Bars. Left click once on each of the white, red, green and blue tabs under Lift, Gamma, Gain and Offset to apply the following settings and drag your mouse cursor upwards to increase the value in the boxes near the bottom or drag the mouse cursor down to decrease the value. In this case here to intensify the brown and orange shades of my door. Underneath lift, white is set to 0.0, .0 red is set to minus 0.03, green 0, blue minus 0.08. For gamma, white is 0, 
red minus 0.07, green 0.03, blue minus 0.18. For gain, white is 1, red 1.28, green 1.02, blue 0.01. For the offset, 33.6, for green 24.2, for blue, 5. You can also adjust the colour in the primaries wheels window by left clicking on the circles inside the rainbow wheels and, and dragging them with your mouse cursor, like this example here inside gain. I'm going to press Ctrl and Z to undo. Use Command instead of Ctrl if you're a Mac user. If I go to preview my video using the play button inside my color window or by selecting the play button back inside my edit screen, we can see that the color shades for both doors have been altered. My original intention was to modify just that in the top right corner of my video. So how can we ensure that only this door is affected? Returning to the color window, Left click once on the window icon. In this case here, due to the rectangular shape of the object which I am modifying in my video, I'm going to left click once on the square shape which appears in the window options on screen. I'm going to zoom out to see the whole video. Left click on fit so that you can see the entire screen on the preview window. At present, nothing is appearing inside the rectangle shape which appears on screen. However, if I left click inside this shape, hold the mouse button down and drag this rectangle towards the top of the screen. And zoom in again so that you can see this preview. We can see the modified door appearing inside the white frame. Note how the second door is also captured on screen here. In order to avoid changing the color of this, what we can do is left click on the rectangular shape and drag this to the right so that the second door to the left is not included in any modifications to the color. You can also left click once and hold the mouse button down over the right circles which appear around your frame and drag inwards if your selected object is near other similar colored objects that you don't wish to modify. Additional windows can also be included by left clicking once on the options which appear underneath the window label. If I left click once on linear for example, then I have another selection shape to choose from. Using the marker on your timeline ensure that your frame is always surrounding the object on your edit. If I left click once and drag this along the timeline, we can see that this door is always inside the white frame. We can see further down the timeline that the second door has come into frame. Therefore, we need to reduce the size of this white rectangle. I will do this by left clicking on the white circle and dragging this inwards towards the door on the right. And now only the color of the first door to the top right corner is modified. I'm going to drag the duration point marker on my timeline towards the end to make sure that only this door to the right is affected. I've reached the end of my timeline and I have verified that only the color of the door in the top right corner is changed. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed this video and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.